Hi guys. So we survived the night. It snowed all the way up till about 3 o'clock this morning and then our electricity came on about 3. So it's kind of hard for me to sleep because the house was so quiet and we're so used to having the TVs on in the residence room. You know, they usually watch TV or listen to music and I always have to have a fan on um, in order to sleep. So it was pretty hard for me to fall asleep. It was just so super quiet. Um, and that is just not my house. But, you guys, it was just um, crazy. It snowed till like 3 o'clock this morning until our electricity came on. And then when I let the dogs out, it's probably 50 plus out there. It's pretty warm. So it's melting really, really fast. But, you guys, I'm not sure if I can go over 15 minutes yet on YouTube videos. And I think it's going to probably take that long. So I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I have to explain a few things in order for you guys to understand some of the dream. Um, the first thing is Tuesday afternoon, I, excuse me, Tuesday night, I believe, or maybe Monday night, um, I was just about asleep and I heard the sound really loud of like a spoon hitting a coffee cup, like how you put sugar and cream in your coffee cup and stir it up and the spoon hits the sides and I was like well that was kind of weird and I was tired and I and I went to sleep and then the next morning I was thinking about it and then I was like well that kind of sounds how you hit the wine glasses at a wedding for the bride and groom to kiss I was like well that couldn't be from the Lord so I just kind of put it aside and then this morning when I woke up, I was catching up on some videos, because I usually do that after I get everybody into bed. And since my electricity was out, I couldn't catch up on video, so I was trying to do it this morning. So I watched a video from Terry Taplin, um, This Could Be It. And she brought up that she heard a song called Pour Some Sugar On Me. And then it clicked to me because she was saying, you know, some people say, give me some sugar, which means a kiss. I was like, oh, you know, that just immediately came to my mind that the Lord was giving me a kiss goodnight, but I didn't know it at the time. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And um, so I thank Terry for sharing that message and confirming that because it was just, it kind of stumped me for a day or two. And I was like, why did I hear that? So then the other day, um, one of my subs informed me that a channel did a false prophet video on me and I was not surprised because about a month or two ago I had come across her channel and watched a video on one of our sisters that she had pretty much dissected one of her videos and was calling her a false prophet and so I called her out on it, and I wasn't very nice about it. And so I was just waiting for her to go to my channel and find something wrong with one of my videos, and she did. So I kind of blew it off, and, you know, it's not a big deal to me. And, um, you guys, that was just laughable. It truly was. And so I was talking to my husband, and I'm just like, I just can't believe these people. They have nothing else better to do than try and find faults in our videos and majority of the videos she does I'm not going to mention channels but most of us are subscribed to these people and it just you know it kind of breaks my heart knowing that there's people out there and I understand we have to call out the people that we truly feel that are giving false information but I don't think one of us calls ourselves prophets. I mean, we just share our dreams and visions. And I have nothing to benefit from it. I truly don't. I mean, you guys don't know me. And, you know, I'm not going to put my soul on the line for anybody. You know, Jesus is my number one priority. And my husband can back me up on that. And I was just telling him, I was like, if she only knew what I did for a living and what I do on my spare time. If I'm not watching YouTube videos, I'm doing YouTube videos or taking care of my clients or listening to my Christian music or watching, you know, Christian channels, you know, pastors or reading my Bible or, you know, like, so I was like, if she only knew, like I spend like 95% 
of my waking hours about Jesus. And my husband's like, <clears throat> you know, cleared his voice. And he's like, um, try like 99.89%. And you guys, that is truth. I mean, I, I, I feel bad that I put my family aside, but they just know how much I love the Lord and he does come first. And so I've been trying to spend a little bit more extra time with my husband. He just, he needs it. But you guys, I just wanted to share that because I just feel, you know, I just feel sorry for these people and how they come against us. And again, guys, we have nothing to benefit. We're just out there sharing what we feel like the Lord gives us and the signs. And he does say in Acts and Joel that he will pour out his spirit and, you know, let us know and the signs and the heavens and on earth and so you guys, I'm just going to get right into my dream. Um, and the reason I shared that is because, you know, it's at the end of my dream and you guys will understand once I get to the end of my dream. But my, my dream started out as I was with two girls that I had grown up with and they were like, they were sisters and they're, they're my best friends or were my best friends growing up. And I've dreamt about these girls now like three times. And so when I woke up this morning and was going to do this video, I thought, you know, I should look up the meaning of their names. You know, maybe the Lord's trying to tell me something. So one of the names is Lori. And it means the laurel tree or sweet bay tree is symbolic of honor and victory. And then right below that, it said similar name, Tori. And Tori is my daughter that passed away six years ago. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then her sister's name is Susie, which means graceful lily. And then it said white lilies grew in the biblical city of Susa in Persia. So, um, and Tori's favorite flower was lilies. And when she passed away, we just got a whole bunch of lilies and just surrounded her casket and... So I just thought that was pretty awesome that the Lord gave me that. So we were at their house, and there was a bunch of kids. And um, this little boy comes running around the corner, and he's yelling, Mommy, Mommy. And he reached out his arms, and so I picked him up, and I knew instantly that this was my son that I had miscarried when I was about 19 years old. I had two miscarriages roughly about that time, and I always knew that I had a boy and a girl. And I've dreamt about my girl and boy, but um, yesterday when I had my dream, this little boy was in my dream. So I was just hugging him and kissing him and loving on him, and I just couldn't let him go. And I just couldn't get my eyes off this little boy. And he was so beautiful, and he was smiling and just to hear the words, mommy, mommy, just truly melted my heart. And then so the next thing is we were um, outside playing with the kids. And then we decided we were going to leave. And then the next thing was we were walking out of the courthouse here in Livingston. And it was my husband, my son, my 22-year-old son, and then my little boy, and then my grandma, which passed away in 2012, and I've dreamt of her quite a bit. And she was just as much on fire for the Lord as I am. I mean, every waking minute was about Jesus. So I know she's with Jesus, and I get dreams about her quite a bit. But anyways, we're walking out of the courthouse. And before I get to this part, you guys, um, in the past, I've heard knocking. I've heard the doorbell ringing. I've heard horse neighing. I've heard the name Michael being called. I mean, you guys, I've heard it all. And I've always gotten jealous in the past of watching videos that people have heard the trumpets or actually got to go to heaven. And I just always, always wanted that. And I always felt in my spirit that the Lord was one day going to let me hear the trumpets. Um, but I felt like he was going to let me know right before he was going to come back. And this is the God's honest truth, you guys. I mean, I just, I knew that if he ever gave me the trumpet sound, it was going to be 
right before he came back. And um, so yesterday when I laid down for a nap, I just went into prayer for about 20 minutes. And, you know, since this video was made about me, I was just like, Lord, you know how much I love you and how much I want to serve you. And if I am doing anything that is displeasing to you, please bring it to my attention. Give me just a simple dream and let me know what I'm doing wrong so you can correct me. And, I, you know, I just went on and on in prayer and then I went to sleep and had this dream. So um, when we walked out of the courthouse, I instantly heard the trumpets. And I was like, oh, Jesus is here, you guys. Jesus is here. And I looked up in the sky and it was kind of cloudy and this rainbow formed and then you know how you see performers on stage and it's kind of smoky and you can see their outline of their body coming out of the smoke? That's kind of what it was with Jesus. He was coming out of the clouds and then he was standing there and he was just clear as day and this rainbow was over him. And you guys, I left my family. I We were like two blocks away from the main street and I felt like I had to get to this main street street and so I just ran as fast as I could and I had to come around this building and of course my dream changed and um, so then I was on a cruise ship hold on guys my husband I'll pick that up um, I'm sorry guys I'm going to cut this off and then I will continue with another quick video.